Okay, this is the vowel circle house or the vowel circle, the vowel house. It's known by all of these things. And uh, it is part of another program, but it is really helpful uh, just on its own for kids as they are learning their vowel patterns. These are some of the hardest for kids to get stuck in their heads. So this resource can be really helpful for them as they are trying to um, just really cement this in their memory. Uh, there are some instructions here on how to get ready to use it and how to use it. Um, and um, <clears throat> what I would say is that you can do the cutting and pasting portion of this as many times as is helpful. Of course, you can print as many copies. And if you have a kid who really relates well to that kind of thing and that those actions really help their memory, then cut and paste every time. If you have a kid who relates better to story, then emphasize the story aspect of it. And uh, if you have a kid who just relates well to going through and seeing the pictures, then you might do the cutting and pasting for the first time. And then you might work with the master copy moving forward, or you might work with the one that they created. The very first time you run through it, I would strongly recommend that you just go through the house and you read the story and point to each of them as you go. Don't add visuals the first time, just give them a sense of the flow of the vowels, the flow of the story and the flow of the house. Uh, have the visuals cut out and ready and waiting with some glue so that the second time you read through that you can ask them, okay, which picture here do you think goes with this part of the story and see if they can match them up. And generally kids can. This of course is the story. And if you are fortunate enough to have a uh, double-sided printer, then you can print it on the other side. I just put mine in a little plastic sleeve and I have the vowel house on one side and the story on the other side. This is the video that I originally got this story from and unfortunately it's no longer on YouTube. So this is uh, my best attempt to reclaim that video. <laughs> um, this is the vowel house itself. So you wanna read through it and you wanna have them point to each of the sounds as they go. It's really helpful for kids who have any sort of a speech impediment or a pronunciation issue that you really emphasize the, the shape of the mouth that's being shown or the sliding action for these longer vowel patterns over here, the O pattern. These shapes of our mouths are so important for how we form these sounds. And so that's one of the big purposes of the visuals is to help with those mouth shapes for those sounds. Uh, and when you are done reading through it each day, one of the really helpful things you can do for your kids is to quiz them on a few or um, all of the long vowel patterns. So you say to them, if I wanted to make the oo sound in a word, what options do you see in the vowel house for spelling the oo sound? And what you're hoping is that over time, within three seconds or less, they'll be able to point over to the scary ghost and they'll be able to say, I could use oo or ew. And you can do that with each of the sounds. As they get better at it, you could also say, I have a word and the word is boat. What long vowel sound do you hear? And you're hoping they say, oh, the long O sound. And you would say, okay, now where are my options for the long O sound? And you're hoping that within three seconds or less, if they've obtained mastery, they're gonna say, I have OA, OW, and OE. Okay, great, which combination do you think would be used in boat? And the more accurate they get with their spelling, the more they're indicating they have mastered these uh, vowel patterns and where they belong within words. So this can be a helpful spelling tool as well. If they're saying, mom, how do you spell boat? 
then you can do that process all over again and you can say, okay, what long vowel sound do you hear? And where is that long vowel sound located on your vowel house? And you have the vowel sound, vowel house next to them as they're doing their writing and their spelling activities. You're hoping that they point at the OA, OW, OE, and that then you say, okay, which one do you think is in boat? And they might guess this one and you say, well, the usual way that we would spell boat is with the OA combination. Really try and steer clear of no, or that's wrong, or not right, any of those kind of language, and, and try and use the usual way that we would spell this word is like this because although spelling it it would sound correct with oh this we wouldn't recognize it so you can teach them those words like people wouldn't recognize it if you used this they will recognize it if you used this combination and you can teach them differences that way so try and keep the language as positive and as uh non-confrontational as you possibly can just by saying that the usual way the traditional way I would read that word as this not no it's not that word I or no it's not that spelling you could say oh that word would be read like this I think what you're looking for is and then you can spell it the correct way for them and that's the vowel house so have fun with it and uh, I think it will be very helpful to you